How's it going gamers? Welcome to the Super Smash Bros. Breakdown series here on GBN. In this show we'll be talking about everything Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, breaking down the characters, items, stages, and announcements from the Super Smash Bros. Dojo website on Wii U and 3DS. Also in the series we'll be discussing characters we'd love to see in the game or possible movesets for said characters if they were in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. If you have your own suggestions for video ideas in the series, you can leave them in the comment section below and become part of the series. Overall, Super Smash Bros. Breakdown will be a place to discuss everything we want to see in the game and everything we know already. Let me start off by saying I'm sorry for the little hiatus I've had this week. I'm sick, school just started, so I'm working with that. It's a very busy schedule, so I apologize with the lack of videos recently, and I just haven't had the same amount of time I've had during summer vacation. So I'm working on it, but here it is, our Super Smash Bros. breakdown analysis of the newly announced returning veteran, Princess Peach for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. I think this new Princess Peach is probably the best way to see how Super Smash Bros. will compare to its standard definition version to the newly upcoming HD version. I mean, she just looks a lot better. Her face is more cartoony, in fact, and more like anime in my opinion. And from what I see, I think it's awesome actually. It's more brighter colors like as we've been seeing with these past characters being announced. The color palette is more vivid, brighter. So I expected a much colorful peach, but this just looks awesome in my opinion. It's more cartoony. It's a little less familiar than what we've seen peach in other games, especially with the upcoming game Super Mario 3D World. But I like it. It looks awesome in my opinion, and I'm rooting for this design. It looks great. So overall, Princess Peach has gotten a mighty fine cosmetic upgrade, if I do say so myself. Other than that, her moveset pretty much seems to be the exact same as it was in Brawl, although even her moveset got a cosmetic upgrade. Uh, for example, her up smash now has a little twirly spinning thing that I don't know what it's called, but it's also in the Olympic Games Mario and Sonic game, so that's a thing. Also, just everything looks prettier. Her moves look brighter, colorful. I mean, even when she pulls out Toad, yes, I'm sorry people who wanted Toad in the game, he's probably not gonna be in it anymore. But even when she pulls out Toad as her standard special attack, uh, even Toad looks way better. Like, just animation, color. Overall, it's just Princess Peach is really showing the visual upgrade that is Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS compared to Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Uh, personally, I didn't think we'd see that much of a HD upgrade with it being a fighting game and at least recently Nintendo hasn't been too focused on the HD graphics of their games at least in most recent releases uh, Mario Kart 8 begs to differ but Super Smash Bros. Wii U looks amazing in HD, and Princess Peach is definitely one of those pieces of evidence that shows that. And to end the show on a completely random side note, the internet seems to be buzzing over this image that Sakurai posted on Miiverse of Mario's hand next to Peach's hand with a ring on it. And yeah, people are like, No, Mario's proposing to Peach. No, this ring has been on her hand since Super Smash Bros. Brawl. You guys are just analyzing this way too much, and that's actually my job, so back off. But in all seriousness, thank you guys very much for supporting the show and watching the episode, and we really appreciate it. If you have any other analyzations of Peach that we may have missed, please tell us in the comment section below or not in the video response because YouTube is taking that out of the website. So yeah, hit up that comment section below or send me a tweet. Check out our social networks in the description below, our gaming usernames. If you like the show, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more episodes, and as always, Always, if you have any suggestions for characters, items, or stages you want us to analyze or make a video on, tell us in the comment section below. Thank you all for being some fantastic supporters of the show and viewers, and we'll see you guys in the next one.